right, guys, so I just uh, picked up a new Ducati Scrambler and uh, just took it home. This is actually my first ride, and I am uh, super, super excited. And I did not sound check my mic because I was afraid of the sun going down. I wanted to catch the sunset. So, I said, fuck it. If the mic works, then I got a cool vlog. If not, then I'll just use some of the footage, throw some music in there, and just do a, just kind of a, a musical piece, I guess, of the bike. Um, I just talked to myself. So yeah, so I just bought a 2015 Ducati Scrambler with the workhorse of an engine. The 796 has been around for a while with the Monster and Hyper Motard. The very first thing that I want to touch on is the engine. Uh, for everybody's reference and background I had I just sold my 2010 Ducati Motard last month had the SD project exhaust updated oil cooler and uh, fuel management system in there it was dialed in pretty nice um, so you know let's just say that it had an extra 10 horsepower than a stock Motard and and forget numbers, but let's just say it ran a little smoother and had a little more grunt than, than a stock one would. Okay, so that's where I'm coming from. Uh, and, and my other bike is a... Oh, I just want to see if I'm recording before I go on the road. Before I go on the main road. Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, and my other bike is a um, 2013 Victory Vegas eight ball. It's a big muscle cruiser and then I had my quasi supermoto hyper motard. Sold that bad boy last month. I thought oh that's a lot of wind. Let me uh close these vents up here. I thought that a um that just one bike would do it. And no, I didn't. So, I started looking at naked bikes again, and uh, I was very happy with my, um, sorry, I messed with my helmet, because there seems to be a lot of wind noise, and it wasn't there before. Uh, yeah, so, I, I was very happy with my um, Hyper Motor that I sold. Uh, and I only sold it because... Yeah, I was getting up there in miles and uh, never gave me any problems or anything and, and I, I got a really good deal for it. I mean, uh, it allowed me to pocket a couple thousand dollars basically. So, um, so yeah, sold it. So basically, sold it and had, had the Victory Vegas for about a month and you know how that goes. After a while, a muscle cruiser just ain't enough. So, Start looking at other bikes. Now I was tempted to get another 796, and I looked around. I definitely did. Uh, uh, what I mean by 796, I mean another Hyper Motard. I looked around, didn't really find anything in my local area, and I was too lazy to go drive somewhere for it. Looked at some Monster 796 to use. Um, I actually found one or two that had the right mods done to it with low miles. Uh, and you can tell the owner took care of it, and it wasn't a complete hooligan with it. Um, so, you know, test drove them, and, and, and the reason I, I didn't pull the trigger, I was like, well, you know, the Scrambler's coming out, so do I want to get a Scrambler or not? I don't know. The only test ride will confirm. So, I waited. Um, and in the interim, as I waited, I definitely 
thought about a Monster 821 and a Hyper 821. Now, the deal with the Hyper 821 is, you know, if I had one bike, yeah, definitely no problem, I would have got it. Uh, the price point is not a big deal. Um, uh, two points, I think, you know, two bikes, you know, my Vegas was you know, out the door, almost 14000 I just didn't feel like spending that much money for another bike and you know, buy a Hyper uh, 821 stock or, you know, any new bike stock. I knew I'm gonna put an exhaust and a bunch of other stuff added to it to, to make it mine. You know, that's at least two thousand bucks. It's all said and done. So decided at this point in time, I'll hold off. The Monster 821. Uh, there was there was one that there was a demo bike, uh, and I was gonna get a pretty good deal on it. So I waited. I waited because this dag on scrambler. I waited for it to come out because I didn't want to buy the 821. And then have the scramble come out and then you know kind of have buyer's remorse so um so i waited when i waited in duration two weeks somebody bought that a21 and the scrambler came in last night oh, not, two nights ago uh, so the dealer called me and said hey uh, i know you've been um, been asking for one of these so i'll give you first dibs uh, I did not put a deposit or anything on it. He just knew I want I wanted to look at one. So went up today, called him. He said, "Yeah, it's prepped, it's ready. Uh, take it, take it for a nice ride." And this morning, went to the dealer. He's a really nice guy uh, here in Monterey, California, uh, Monterey Power Sports. And um, took it for a ride, and uh, I think I rode about a good 30 miles, maybe a little less. Um, I took it easy on it one because I was like, hey, I might bite this bike. Um, so let me let me back up and, and, and pause and say the initial thoughts were right when I saw it. Uh, visually, and as far as dimensions, it, it was spot on. It's exactly what I thought it'd be, and the dude's looking at me like, why is he talking to himself? Uh, it's exactly what I thought it'd be. It, it is a little lower than I expected. I thought it'd be a little taller, maybe like, like a, uh, you know, get a Monster 796 or 696, but it's even lower than a 696. Um, you know, I don't know about specs you know, exactly, but I'm just talking about how it feels to me as a rider. Uh, it feels a little bit lower. So, anyhow, I, uh, I saw it, the meshes look good. I wasn't crazy about this yellow, man, to be honest. It's growing on me. Uh, especially when the, when the sun's out and the sun's hitting it, it, it does look nice. But initially, it wasn't crazy, crazy about it. So I was like, okay, it looks good. I sat on it for about a good 20 minutes, took a bunch of pictures, FaceTime with some of my buddies, showed them the bike, got their opinion on it. Um, the one that that I actually bought uh, was getting prepped, and you know, by the time we got ready came out and it sounded sounded nice so got on it initially I turned it on it had it has a Ducati sound you can kind of hear that clack 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 um, it's got the stock exhaust so it's, it's subdued and, and that, that, that can be remedied real easy um, so initial reaction right so I put it in first gear and I'm taking off I'm right? going mild but there just wasn't a whole lot there right and I'm kind of like huh this is not pull like my Hyper 796. You know, it was. Man, I want to say this. I'm gonna piss a lot of people off, and I'm gonna get a bunch of trolls. Probably. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? But for me, okay, all right, guys, listen up. This is my opinion. All right. It's not fact, and I'm uh, I'm I'm just 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 a guy with a motorcycle. So this is my opinion. Um, it almost felt like a hot right? It was a little bit soulless, so these first gear, first and second gear. I was kind of like, ah, uh, whatever. And the first five, six miles, I was kind of, uh, I'm not going to say disappointed, but just kind of like, huh, interesting, right? Underwhelmed, right? I guess that's the word, right? Definitely not overwhelmed. <laughs> Very underwhelmed. Why was it underwhelmed? Well, I'm coming from a tuned, properly tuned, uh, 
Hyper Mozart 7. Nice thing, this is a beautiful guy. Check this out. One of the beauties of living in Monterey, California. And just check this out. It's a windy ass day today, too. But uh, this is cool. I'm going to fix my mirror because it came loose. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Alright, so let's pause. Let me square my stuff away. And then 